You ever been up during that time where it seems like the whole world shuts off and you're the only person awake? The clear indication is when all noise, even the smallest noise, cranks up to 11. Like you turn on a light switch and it turns into like a clapper and an announcement like, I'm here. And you're like, whoa, 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 calm down. Even, now this is even light itself, right? Just, just light, something that shouldn't make noise. You start listening to some like humming. You're like, what is that? Is that the light bulb? Should I be concerned about that? You know, even tiptoe, you try to tiptoe around the house and the tiptoe sounds like a tow truck. That, that was a bit much, right? Yeah, my apologies. The worst is just uh, forget tiptoeing. But when you start walking around the house, you start hearing every creak and crack in the house. You start to question the foundation of your home. At first, you're like, well, what is happening? And then you try and be a little bit softer because you don't want to wake anybody up you're trying to be polite. And no matter what you do, it's just creaking and cracking everywhere. And you start walking around, turning on lights. You forget how late it is because you're like, now I just got to check to make sure I'm living on solid ground. My girlfriend, though, she can sleep through a natural disaster. I'm telling you right now, you ever meet those people who can just sleep through anything? This isn't really a brag, and I hate to put it this way, but I am a natural disaster. It doesn't matter what I do. I will, I, I, I make noise uh, to the point where, you know, most people, they probably just, you know, when they come home, either like super late at night or, you know, they're out and about in their house super late at night and they're trying to wander about quietly. They probably just normally wander about the house quietly. I turn everything into a 007 secret agent mission, planning every step, playing a little tune in my head, dunna, dunna. and then like, you know, you got to accept this mission because if you fail, you will wake up a beast that will terrorize you. That holds a uh, stick. So, but my problem is I get so into it that as soon as I make one accomplishment, like walking through a door, right? The first door, the first obstacle, I immediately start like applauding and then start doing barrel rolls and turning it into a whole shindig. I, I, I don't understand. Now me, I wake up uh, with a pin needle and I'm like, who, what, when, why? Is there a fire? And not in a good way. I'm like zero to 60. And it's, you know, not, you know those guys who like wake up in a fire and they, within like less than a second, they have their whole family on one shoulder and then like a go bag of essentials. And then they like bust out the window, land on the ground. Nobody's hurt at all. They hop into their vehicle, which is attached to like a bunker with all their and they hightail off into the sunset. You know, th those guys who wake up and they turn into Navy SEALs, I basically just turn into a SEAL and just start, you know, ar, ar, ar. Anyways, my, so apparently like, cause my girlfriend, she sleep through anything because apparently her family decided that to teach her when she was young that if you can sleep that you have to sleep through noise that there is no peace and if you can't sleep then you're not tired it was like some sleep battle boot camp there's a slogan for you pretty good one i might say anyways so this last time I was trying a new tactic because clearly I have to retire the spy game. Not that it was, I was no good at it because she keeps telling me, you know, look, I, I'm not going to wake up and you clearly can't not make noise. And you're thinking, and you just kind of walk away with that for a minute and you're like, can't. I'm going to make noise. So this is those little comments. And you kind of think about it and you go, wait, hey, wait, I'm trying real hard. And you march back in and she goes, 
Anyways, what I was trying to say, because she wasn't finished talking, all you heard was something that kind of struck you and made you wander about the house to have a walkabout. (laughs) And so she goes, anyways, you should just make noise because I'm going to sleep and this way you don't have to do barrel rolls around the house. And so I was thinking, okay, this time I'm just going to go for it. And so it's super late. The world shut off, you know, pin needles are like glass shattering, right? You ever come home and you hear a noise and you hear something fall in another room? You're not even in that room. You're like, well, how could I have, did I shake the house? What's happening here? But anyways, I walk in, I open doors, I shut doors casually. I'm not slamming things like, hey, it's my house now. Like she said, make noise. No, 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 no. I just open and close doors. And uh, I I get all settled in. I sit on the couch. I'm just about to turn on the TV because I figure at this point, nobody's woken up. Everything's gone according to plan. Victory is assured. And I, I hear a whisper, babe, And you try to ignore it. You you think nothing of it because you're like, oh, it's just a a, a noise and noise is acceptable now. And then you're just about to, and you're, babe? Yeah. Oh, Uh -oh. wait, did I just make, does that mean she's awake? And then you hear the, this is the big cue, Nick. Well, I mean, most of you probably won't hear this, but you'll hear your actual name and then you go, oh no. What noise did I make? I didn't make any noise. I I made just the right amount of noise, I thought. And so you hesitate to speak, thinking maybe it was a a fluke and they'll just fall back asleep. And then you get the second time with a little bit louder and you're like, oh, yeah, yes, uh, hello. Darling, yeah, throw some sort of compliment in there just to make sure everything's a-okay. And they go, oh, I I, I, I thought it was you. Have you been here the whole time? I go, the whole time that I was opening up doors? Yeah, why? Oh, well, I thought you would, might have, I thought you were coming home later. So I, I thought, you know, someone could have been here to kill me, but I was too tired, so I figured... I just went back to sleep. And you're thinking, what? Uh, Immediately you start questioning the security of your own home. You start looking around. And as she was like telling you that story, you start like getting up and walking about the house, quickly opening doors. Gotcha. And then thinking, what? There's no one here. It's just me. I was the one making all that noise. So everything's fine. And you're going, no, no, just me. But why... If you thought somebody was here to kill you, why would you, or do you harm or just vandalize the, the, our home? You just, ah, too tired. I'm going to, I'm going to sleep through this and hopefully everything's going to be all right. I guess there's that point where you're so tired. Yeah. I guess we've all had that. You, when the smoke alarm like goes off or something like that, you're like, eh, I don't see any flames. You know what I mean? Power goes out. Feels all right. House starts shaking. Well, it's not shaking anymore. You know what I mean? So you just got to throw that in there. So anyways, you got to be real careful with how you, when the world shuts off, I don't, I don't understand how people do. You know, those people who get up at like four o'clock in the morning and they like tackle the world. How do they not wake up the whole house? That is never explained. They're always like set an alarm or like wake up internally, right? Some people just like train themselves to wake up at four o'clock in the morning. I have not figured that one out whatsoever, but they just wake up and they go and they like, ah, oh, I work out. I make coffee. I make three eggs and a pancake. And, you know, I do a, a, you know, I build a little house for my dog. And you're thinking, how do you do all this without waking up half the neighborhood? And it, that's never explained. So anyways, there you go. Uh, I don't know how to, how, how to move forward. I guess moving forward, I'm going to make noise and then uh, maybe not just be, uh, when the world shuts off, I'm going to shut off. So there you go. And, uh, we'll see you guys all in the next one until next time. Bye-bye.